Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Last week I showed you how to play the left hand for the song Contine d'un autre été from the movie Amélie Poulain. And today I'm gonna show you how to do the right hand, which is the melody of the song. Now in this part I'm gonna show the main melody. I'm gonna show in a different part how I play the continuation of this because the most well-known version of this song has this same piece that I'm gonna teach today but one octave higher, basically the same except for a couple of notes really at the end of the song um, but I'm gonna show you in a different video how I play the continuation because there is a longer extended version of this that I play and uh, I'm gonna show you guys in the third part so stay tuned for that one guys last week I didn't use my pedal and today I'm not gonna use it either. I'm first gonna use just my right hand to show you the melody and then we're gonna add our left hand to it, which is kind of tricky in the beginning, but you should get the hang of it when you exercise a lot. Everything comes with exercise, right? So, let's see. The first small section of this melody uh, with my right hand have these little parts with three notes of which two of them are the same and one in between that is different. So we always return back to the same note that we come from. So we start with the G, go down to the F sharp and then return to the G. So we always return to the same note that we played first. Then next we start with the B and go to the C. Okay, then we start with the F sharp and go up to the G. Then G to the B. Then next we start with the F sharp, go down to the E. Back up, starting with the B, up to the C. And then one more from the F to the E. And this one longs out. So if we paste that together, we get something like this. Right? Now it starts with one count of rest, which is not actually a rest in the music. We actually in the left hand will do this at the first count, but this is not together with our G. Our G comes on the second note, right? And not on the first. Now this whole first section, we play this two times in a row. Then the next section is pretty easy, or a bit longer notes. We start with the E5. Then go to the B4, then from the D to the B, to the F sharp, to the B, and another time F sharp to the A. Okay? So we get this with timing five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven, eight. So we play this one time, and then next we have the same counting, but we have different notes, and we play two at a time. We start off with the B4 and the G5, then go over to the G4 and the E5, then the same thing, we start over, but then go over to the G4 and the D5, then B4 and F sharp 5. Then to the F sharp 4 and the D5. Then the A4 and the F sharp 5. And again F sharp 4, D5. Right? So if we paste that all together, that part, we start with like this. 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So, we have the first section, we have the second section, now is the section that sounds difficult. And it is not that easy to be accurate. Uh, there are some tricky parts in that, um, but it's very iconic, this part. Right? So, these are the faster notes in the section, and it's very well known as well. So, we actually always place our 
hand in an octave. So the thumb is, for example, in this case, on the B4. My pinky is on the B5. And then we have another note in between, which in this case is the E. In this one we will play triplets, which means the three notes after one another. So we play that four times in a row, which is this. Then we play the B and the E yet again. But then we play the C and the E. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. Then after that, we keep the thumb and pinky on the same Bs, but instead of the E in between, I play the D. Now we also play this triplet four times in a row. One, two, three, four. And then here yet again, B, D. But then we go down, A, D. To go down to the next triplet. All right? So this triplet sounds like this. If we play it a little faster, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After we play the last D, we go down with our thumb to the F sharp four. My lower thumb is on the F sharp four. My my pinky is on the F sharp five here, and then we play the B in between. Then we play the same triplet four times in a row again. Yet again, the F sharp, B. Then we go over to the G, B, to go to the last triplet, which starts at the A. So that means my pinky will be on the next A, which is the A5. And then we have our index finger on the D5 as well. And we play that triplet, you guessed it, four times in a row. Yet again, A, D. Then we play the G with our thumb and the D again and we start over again. Now if we play that last part all together, slowly, we get this. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And we play that part two times in a row as well. But in the second time that you play this, you will not end like this. But you will end it like this. The E is on the one. So it will sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Now, let's play the whole thing together, section one, two, three, that we covered today. So together it will sound something like this, and one. After this part, you would actually start over again with one octave higher. Like that. Now, a couple of tricky parts in the whole melody is that, first of all, now I'm not playing with a pedal. Uh, if I'm playing with a pedal, I don't have to really worry which notes I keep playing in or pressing down. Okay. So certain notes in this I keep pressed down because it would it wouldn't sound like this. There are pauses in between and I don't want that. But if you play it with a pedal, it sounds like this.
so I don't need to keep pressing them down if I use a pedal. But that's for another video actually. Then in the triplets section, the hardest part is actually switching between the second and the third because we go down. Our hand is already pretty wide right here. The next part is a little bit tricky. This one. Because you really need to feel it in your fingers where you need to go. It is easier to go up because the thumb needs to move towards our hand and that is easy. But going down, it is a little bit more tricky. Okay, so you need to exercise on that. Then if you want to combine both hands, be sure to watch my last video because the left hand isn't that easy either. Um, but once you get the hang of both hands separately, it's time to combine them. Now, I would start very slowly, very slowly, because the left hand does the same thing all of the time. And if it's really automated in your hand, it will be an easier time to just add your right hand to this. You can play the three different sections that I showed you today separately, but add the left and the right hand together. And start very slowly, like this for example. You can start with the left hand, just to feel the moment. time that's section one then for the second part it is actually easier that's the easiest part part. The tricky part in this timing wise is that we play triplets here while we have a four count on the left hand. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. While we have here one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That can be a little bit tricky but eventually you should be able to get the hang of this if you just try very slowly. Five, six, seven, eight and... start over again on the higher part. Now I will show you next time how I play this extended version. I think it's more fun to play, there is more variation, but it makes the song quite a bit more difficult. Uh, and I don't play it perfectly myself, but I know how to play it, okay? So I hope you guys learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I also have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. Don't forget if you want me to teach you another song, you may always suggest it in the comments below. And I might just try to do that, if I'm able to play it myself, that is, alright? So thank you so much and see you guys next time. Bye! Contine de notre... Contine de notre... When you really are... When you... When you exercise a lot. Every... Every... When you exercise a lot. Everything comes... Have... Have these little parts of three diff... Have these little parts of three notes. So if we... So if we paste that... To, so if we paste that... The cat, so we... So we... So we basically... Okay. Now, with the counting... Now together, with, now if I'm count, now if I'm counting the, now if I'm counting, and we say, and we play that sit, and we play that triplet, yeah.
So certain notes I play, so certain notes in this part, I pre I keep, because you really have to be, because you have to be the tricky sec, but it, you, but eventually you should, but it makes it quite, but it makes it, but it makes, so I hope to, so I hope you guys, uh, 